What's up, everybody? Welcome to the series finale of my Fallout New Vegas playthrough. It has been a long road getting here, both in real life and in game. Uh, let's check the date here. So it's August 10th, so about two months off from being a year into, um, after leaving Doc Mitchell's house. That's kind of crazy. We've been doing this stuff for a year, you know? It seems a lot longer with all the progress I've made, you know? Just remember how I used to be coming out of there. I was I was scared of geckos. Now look at me, taking on the fucking Deathclaw promontory. Anyways, uh, yeah, let's get on with this. Because as you can see here, there is a very familiar figure over here sitting at the, the start of the um, Lonesome Road. So let's go talk to him real quick, see if he has any good info for us before this battle. Because, guys, shit is going down, okay? I keep getting attacked by elite legionary uh, freaking groups. Like, they're ready. Th this battle is about to happen. Um, so I think it's time that we go... The president's speech is about to come up. And uh, before that happens, though, I want to see if I can get some last little bits of advice from Ulysses. Because he always has wise stuff to say. So yeah, let's go talk to him. What's up, man? Full circle. Walked your road. Now back again. Something else in you needing an answer. Uh, what are you doing here? A question one could have asked you not long ago. Before walking the road west into the storms. Oops. Maybe that's why you've come to... Need to see where the missile from Ashton touched ground down below in Hopeville. The Courier's Mile. Yeah, I've been there. It's a hellhole. That's where the missile hit, huh? My name for it. If you have a better one, you grant it. My choice in names won't carry past you and I. Lies I like along the road, way. running from the Hopeville silo, straight onto where the ground burns and wind howls even stronger than here. What about the marked men? That's part of why I'm here. Watch them. If they attack me, try to enter the Mojave. I answer, not looking to kill them. Save them, if I can. There might be something saving in them. If not, then what I do is mercy, not murder. Uh, you know the divide's like heavily irradiated. Are you sure you want to stay here? The invisible fires burn here, true enough, still. To have helped carry out such an act, then not face it, not to my way. If my life burns out here, so be it. Until then, I wait and watch, see what the road brings. Okay, well I have a few more questions. Questions have a habit of making others. So, uh, I killed Caesar. Names die twice to history. If the West thanks you. The East won't, in time, fall apart. Back to the tribes, maybe. Too soon to tell what will happen. Let history weigh what you've done, if it gets that far. Are you angry at all about that? Kaisar would be history's hypocrite if he was angry about what happened. I'm not one for it either. Seems you just proved his philosophy to him. If he'd been stronger, He'd be alive, and we wouldn't be talking. That's fine. Unless you do the same for the legate that comes, you'll get no thanks from me. When that monster arrives, he's not going to have a leash. Kaiser could command him. Not now. The bear is going to burn, and burn slow. This guy sounds pretty scary, bro, not gonna lie. Um... So is this where you're going to make camp? Not a camp. Vigil, maybe. Never claimed it as mine. If anyone owns the Divide, your claim is stronger than mine. Don't feel like adding a campfire to the ones that already burn below. If you brought Mojave gifts, might be able to shape something for the road. Now, you know, you can go ahead and take over this place, alright? I'm cool with the big empty. Anyways, uh, I have some materials I've gathered if you want to take a look. Let's see what gifts the Mojave has for us. What do I have for you? Oh, you're just... Okay, I can trade. Or I can, uh... 
cool. All right. There's nothing else in you needing an answer. Well, um, was hoping you could help me shape something. Let's make something new from the old. What does that do? Oh, okay, that's the same thing. Something else in you. Um, any recipes you could teach me? Depends what history has to say about them. There's a lot the land can provide. If you know the road that led to it. Mojave's got ways of healing most ills. If not, some tribes are usually found a way you didn't expect. Like healing powders. Tribes back west only use Xander and rock flower. There's a way the twin mothers in the east used to brew it though. Called it bitter drink. Mixed up the Xander and Brock in a bottle. Added some kick to it so your head doesn't get all clouded. Oh shit, okay. What's the history of it? History. Cures a wound. Leaves the bitterness that caused it. The twin mothers were always about lessons. Kaisar taught them the last one though. So that's it for them. Recipe still exists. Legion uses it on forced marches with wounded soldiers. Wouldn't have made it through Crimson River Trail a few years back without it. Losing so much blood early on was a Casador feast. Enough Xander root and Brock flower along the trail though. The Legion was able to keep pace and get where they were going. Okay, um, can you share it with me? Can do that, and one better. Just enough around to mix some. Here. Might make the twin mother's history live a little longer. You carrying it. When you drink it, down it all in one shot. Or your stomach's not going to want to keep going after the second drink. Okay, um, any more recipes? Nothing more than I've already shared. We'll have to keep with what we know. Tired of history's lessons anyway. All right. So I got your final message. Didn't think I'd be breathing to hear you say that. Message isn't important. Meaning is. Had to speak of it in case the words got lost in paper, ink, or others' voices. Maybe even yours in time. Still meant for you. Courier to courier. Belongs to you now. Or history. Doesn't matter. Um, okay. Well, I, I guess I could tell you about some of my escapades out here, so... I reached Vegas and dealt with House. House spoke. Acted through machines. Sometimes can judge a man by his messengers. Sometimes the messengers judge him. Wonder what happens to Vegas now. The tribes... Families. We'll see. You don't sound too happy. Thought you might be glad House had dealt with. You don't sound happy. What you did was for the best. The old world died long ago. Anyone who believes they can make it return, and everything will be as it was. It is a dangerous belief. Needs to be silenced before their belief spreads. If you saw a house, you didn't see a man. An old world spirit, perhaps. Filthy, diseased. If so, killing him was mercy, not cruelty. Yeah, I can agree with that. So have you been over to Hopeville since the missile hit? Walk there sometimes. Keep the walks short. Still, it's important to see. Something else to answer for. Occasionally sift through the dust, the buildings. See if I can find some history. Marks of America. If you want them, keep them. You've earned it. Nothing to be gained by me holding them. And more will surface in time. Okay. Um, did you find anything in the dust of Hopeville? Nothing but wind, sand, ash. More may reveal itself in time. Not now. If you're determined, return. Might be something new surfaces. Okay, uh, I'll check it out maybe sometime. Uh, tell me a little about Hoover Dam before I head over there. Old World Wall, run red with blood of bear and bull. It'll bleed more before the sun sets on the Mojave. 
That place and I have a past. Owe oh, it a debt, and it owes me. If your path takes you there, no, you're not the only one. It's the wall by which this age will be measured, the gravestone of the Mojave. Old world never meant it as such. Okay, you already told me what you're doing here, right? Need to be here. See what was done in the divine. Yeah, okay. Well, I'll see you, Ulysses. Can hear the weight in your feet. You're bound for that old world wall. Hoover Dam. Maybe not now. In time. Oh, I'm going there now. Bear and bull shed too much blood there to let it go. Can't stop you from going. Wouldn't. A warning, though. The legate Lenius, where the Kaisar stands or not, Lenius will come. Oh my god. Alright, can you tell me a little about him? What can you tell me? Lenius. Butcher. Monster. Terror of the East. Sounds like a Not pleasant even guy. His slaves have seen his face. Struck them blind so they can't. Wears a mask. Don't even know if it's the same man. He put Colorado to the sword. Broke the hangdogs by throwing their hounds upon the flames. So they might burn forever in the afterlife. Wow, this guy uh, really knows how to party, huh? Why is he coming west? To take Hoover Dam. Legion will need something as big as the old world itself. Another symbol forged by history. Linnaeus carries all the terrors of the East with him. He's the myth, the weapon the Legion needs. When he arrives, he'll fall on Hoover Dam like a hammer. Break the bear in two. Okay, he must have a weakness, right? His strength lies in his title. And it is his weakness. He will not fight a losing battle and destroy what he represents. Put the idea of loss in him. Convince him the bear will not be the 20th tribe beneath his heel. It will make him pause like nothing on earth. You do not need to convince him alone. Draw upon history. The past of other legates are not filled with victories. Remind Linnaeus of this. Are you talking about Graham? Yes. Graham was broken on the wall of the dam. Kaiser had him burned and cast into the earth, into the largest canyon you've ever seen. Watched the flames trail all the way to the bottom. Somehow, Joshua walked away from that, went beyond Kaiser's gaze. His footsteps trailing fire, walking from one hell, maybe to another. When one is ruined like Graham was, sometimes home is the only place left. If so, he went to New Canaan. Kaiser's anger written on him like a book. Kaiser's orders to the Frumentari were to watch for him, find Graham, kill him. Didn't try. Could have. No good would have come of it. Graham earned his life and his nature. It'll kill him more surely than any blade of the Legion. So, if you've heard word of it or seen sign of him, let it keep. Let his history keep. I'll remember that. Then there is nothing more to be done. The Mojave awaits. All right. I'll see you, Ulysses. Thanks for all your wise words. Oh my god, he gave me a lot of stuff. Pre-war book, I don't want that. <laughs> What the hell? Okay. There's one more thing I want to do before I go to the dam. Oh my god, my voice keeps cracking. There's one more thing I want to do before I go to the dam. I want to go back to Camp Golf because there's those myths, the misfits there. And I want to kind of see if I could train them up a little bit before the battle. That would be nice. So let's hop over to Camp Golf. Things are getting intense, man. I know the president's speech is coming up real soon. This is it, guys. Everything's been leading to this. Alright. Hey, misfits. What's up? 
Let me go talk to the uh, the captain here, or whatever the the leader of this little area. Also, turn the fucking music down. I don't know why it's so high. And where are you, Sergeant McCready? I've been hearing some rumors from the embassy that Mr. House has gone quiet all of a sudden. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Uh, no, totally not. So how'd you end up at Camp Golf? I've been here since the first push into Vegas. Back in the day, this camp was the hot spot for conflicts with the Legion, Raider tribes, you name it. These days, I spend most of my time trying to beat a little discipline into the soldiers under my command. I've gotten soft with no action. Funny, I thought this is where they sent washouts and losers. So what do you do now that the fighting's died down? Mostly drill the troops, try to keep the discipline up and combat readiness high. It's not the easiest job in the world. Soldiers without a mission get bored very easily. Still, with the Legion just across the river, we have to be ready. Yeah, ready now more than ever. But it sounds like you're a little disappointed with your troops. Disappointed? We call them the misfits for a reason. They're undisciplined, lazy, and they have absolutely no esprit de corps. The squad leader's got some promise, kid named Mags. But as for the rest, I don't see much hope. I'm going to make them shape up if it kills me, though. Or them, for that matter. Well, I could probably help you whip them into shape. I have some experience with this stuff. You're welcome to try. Hell, maybe they'll listen to somebody they don't see as an authority figure. Okay, cool. We won't go quiet. Let's go try to talk to them. Hey guys, it's been a while. Been months, actually. Hey, Mags. I hear Caesar's dead, and we've got you to thank for it. Nice work. No problemo. Sergeant McCready asked me to talk to you about getting your squad in shape. He did, huh? Well, good luck with that. You'd have an easier time teaching rad roaches to march in formation. We'll see about that. It can't be that hard. What needs to get done? Well, if you ask me, what we really need is to get this whole squad out on the practice range. Shape up our marksmanship and explosive skill. I'm sure the others have their own ideas, though. All right, well, let's get them out to the range. Are you sure? I've got enough clout to get them started, but these guys are pretty lazy. I doubt they'll want to be pulled in different directions. I'm sure. Let's go do it. You're the boss. All right, guys. Coming. I, are you like the... I feel like you're the only character with dyed hair in this whole game. Pretty cool. God damn it, you lazy bastards. Come out here. We got a job to do, okay? The Legion will be here soon. We need to make sure you guys are going to be alive, alright? Everybody coming? Yeah, take your take your time, why don't you? Not like uh not like the president's about to get assassinated or anything. Oh my god, you slow bastards. Stop cocking your head back in a weird way. Look, we got work to do. Isn't there one more person? Hey, Raz! Hello. Time to go, buddy. Are you coming? There you go. Just need to be pushed around a little. God damn it. Alright, I'm waiting an hour. You're taking way too long. Here we go. Okay. Okay, everybody's lined up and ready to go. Any suggestions? Uh, take positions where you can cover each other. Stay focused. You heard the man, people. Get focused. Take your time. Pick your shots and tell your squad mates who you're shooting at. I've got the one at 11 o'clock. Raz, O'Hanrahan, take the two on the right. Poindexter, the center. Exhale before you fire. Squeeze the trigger. Don't jerk it. Right. Exhale. Squeeze. Focus on the shot. Well, I think that went well, don't you? Thanks for the help. I think the whole unit's doing a lot better now. Hell yeah. Let's see you go. Yeah, look at him. Wish I could have been there to it. see Caesar die. What an asshole. All right. I hear Caesar's dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So did the shooting range practice go well? It helped, but we still got a grenade range inspection to pass. All right, we'll get the troops lined up. Let's do it. After the help you gave us at the shooting range, we'll take any advice you've got. I'll line them up. Okay. Okay, we've got our dummy grenades and the course is live. We're all set. Okay, to start, pull the pin, let it cook off for a count of three, and then throw. Right. Easy enough. One, two, three. Don't pitch it like a baseball. Lob it. You want a good solid arc. Solid arc. 
Check. Lob them up and over, people. Don't worry about accuracy. Use their grenades to break up clusters of enemies. Hold the grenades for groups, squad. Hit them in clusters and send them running. All right. Yeah, I do. Thanks. I think we might survive this now. Go for it. Let's see. Hell yeah. Looking good. Sweet, sweet. Okay. So now the word is... Oh, he's coming. Yeah, I shouldn't have skipped that. Whatever. How's the squad doing? Thanks to you, I think we're in good shape. The squad seems to be functioning much better as a unit now. Cool. All right. Well, I guess I'll see you guys at the dam then. Get prepared. Shit's coming. All right, let's go head over there and see if we could protect, protect the president here. I sure hope those guys make it. They're pretty cool. Longest loading screen ever. Alright, well, I'm sure he's not doing the speech in the middle of the night. I don't know. Should we just wait a while? Oh. Yeah, let's wait for, like, the daytime. Uh, Probably gonna be a little sleep-deprived, but that's okay. Hell yeah. Um, okay, we're a little dehydrated. That's fine. No big deal. Got plenty of water. As long as the game doesn't fucking crash. Sweet, okay. Alright guys. Everybody all ready for this? Dead. This time for I've heard of you. Hey, I'm fellow eye patch wearer. This is a delicate matter, and we need all the help we can get from people we can trust. We've got a lot to do to prepare for the president's visit, and not much time. Once we start, we'll be on a strict timetable. Are you ready? All set. Good. The president doesn't arrive until tomorrow. Oh, get shit. some rest. I'll brief you in the morning. Good. All right. God damn it. Oh, it's gonna skip by. Okay. Cool. So what's today? The twelfth? Oh, it's my birthday. I think. In real life, obviously. Glad you could join us. Most of my men are already on duty, and the crowd has already started gathering outside. We've got a busy day ahead of us. So what's the plan? The plan is to get through today without the shit hitting the fan. So I'll be overseeing the security team personally, and keeping in constant contact with people over the radio. It's a good bet that the Legion is gonna try something today, so we have to be prepared for anything. We'll do whatever it takes to get the president through this visit in one piece. Okay. Uh, maybe some Ask questions. Ask your questions, but keep it short. Yeah, yeah. Um. Any? Do you have any leads on possible security threats? The Legion will definitely try something. We don't have any solid leads yet. I'd almost expect something direct from them. But given the circumstances, there's a possibility of something more subtle, like sabotage. But since we don't have anything solid, we'll just have to keep our eyes out for anything out of the ordinary. Okay, can I use my weapons? We trust you, so you're free to have your weapons. Just don't do anything too crazy, and we'll back you up. Okay, uh, what is the security arrangement looking like? Security detail consists of rangers stationed here at the dam. Some will keep an eye on the crowd while others will watch the perimeter. Snipers and sharpshooters have been assigned to key locations, and we also have a special canine unit sniffing out members of the crowd. I've also locked down access to critical locations, such as the landing platform on the visitor center. I'm gonna need access everywhere. Alright, I'll give you full access. Sweet. Okay, do you have a detailed schedule for the visit? I have a full itinerary here. Here you go. Cool. Um, so what can I do to help exactly? Someone like you. I'm just glad to have you on board. Do whatever you can. Security sweeps, talk to people, keep an eye out. Gotcha. All right, no more questions. If there's nothing else, then let's get moving. All right, let's get the show on the road. President Kimball is arriving shortly. If you want to do any last minute security sweeps or take a look around for anything suspicious, do it now. Once you're ready, meet me outside on the observation deck. But don't take too long. Okay, totally not stressed at all. Not like I'm defending the president or anything. 
he wants me to meet him up here. Okay. I'm gonna beat you there. We're gonna race. Okay, so the president's gonna be coming from Hello. up there, right? Oh, hi, people. Hey, have you seen my friend around here? His name is Ben? Um, he's an engineer. We were supposed to watch the president's speech together. He hasn't shown up yet. Um, I haven't seen him. <laughs> Maybe the Dreamer's own cuter. I haven't seen him. Okay, well, I guess I'll just keep waiting. <sighs> Sorry to bother you. Hey, some guy named Ben. Move the kings to back down. They didn't know they were messing with us. Uh, Ben, an engineer. It's not you, is it? What about you? Are you Ben? We won't uh -huh. go quietly. Ah, uh, you are. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, I don't know about any Ben, but let's go talk to Grant. Oh shit, what's in here? Don't mind me just breaking through your uh, your locked door here. Don't get mad. Shit. There's gotta be something good in here if it's very hard, right? God damn it. Oh my god, you son of a bitch! Alright, here's a little technique I like to employ called starting over. There we go. What do we got? Absolutely nothing. Cool. Uh-oh. Okay, we're good. Nelson's back in our hand. I'll meet you on the observation deck. Observation deck? Isn't that where we're at now? Console, what does this do? This is the Hoover Dam console for the AA gun. Examine the controls for tampering. You examine the controls for any sign of tampering, but don't see anything unusual. Okay, that's fine. So when's the president getting here? I guess we should check the itinerary. So is today... Oh, it's not my birthday. It's a few days after. Okay, it's not the 12th. Um, let's look at this itinerary. Hoover Dam presidential visit schedule. The president will visit Hoover Dam to give a speech to the troops and award a medal to Private Watson for his bravery and service to the NCR. The president is scheduled to arrive via Vertebird from California. The Vertebird will land on top of the visitor center where Colonel Moore will meet the president and escort him out to the stage. After a brief introduction by Colonel Moore, the president will give a speech. The speech will only take approx approximately four minutes. During the speech, the president will award a medal to Private Jeremy Watson. Once the speech is over, the president will be escorted directly through the visitor center to the Vertebird. In event of an emergency, the speech will be canceled and the president will be rushed to the Vertebird for immediate Vertebird for immediate departure. If the if the pro if the is a problem with the Vertebird, a room on the second level of the visitor center will be used as a safe room to keep the president secure until any threat is over. Access to this room has been restricted, and Colonel Moore has taken the key in her desk. Is that the room we unlocked? Okay. All right, we ready for this, Have man? You finished your security suite? No. Let's check everything else. What else can I check? Can I go up here? Anything sussy? Not right now. I'm busy. Fuck you, more. I don't have time to talk right now. Yeah, I figured that. Okay. Um, I don't really know what else we can look at. Where's this Ben what guy? President Kimball's going to talk about today. Are you Ben? I'm so excited about the president visiting. This is going to be great. Oh, hey, it's you. Hey, yo. You're getting an award, my dude. What do you know about the president's visit? He's coming to give a big fancy speech to all us troops stationed here at the dam. I'm pretty excited. He seems like such a nice guy, and I get to meet him. He's giving me a medal. I don't know why, though. I'm just doing my job like all the other guys. I'm still excited, though. Okay, well, tell me about yourself. How, why are you getting this award? Mama always told me not to talk to strangers. But you seem like a nice person. Mama left me on a farm when she went out prospecting. But when she never came back, the owner didn't want me around. He kicked me out on my own. A nice guy came up and asked me if I wanted to join the NCR. So I did. Now the troopers are my family. I like it here. Everyone is so nice. That's adorable. Bye-bye. See you, Watson. You're wholesome as hell. Hopefully you're not going to try to kill the president or anything. All right. 
Um, let's go check on that guy up there. I don't really trust somebody being up in a tower until I see who they are. He'd be a spy. Oh, the hell? Oh, hey. Nothing is going to happen to the president on my watch. All right, cool. All right, everything seems good. I guess that's all I should really check on, right? I think that's fine. Let's go talk to Watson. It's going down. Oh my god, that dog looks fucked up. <laughs> Alright, man. It's time. Have you finished your security sweep? Security sweep is uh, done. I'm ready. When will the president be here? Looks like that's his vertebrate coming right now. It's showtime. Let's not mess this up. Oh, now, if shit. you'll excuse me, I've got some security procedures to oversee. Okay. Where's the vertebrate? There it is. Coming through. I'm gonna go. Can I go over here and make sure nothing's fishy's going on? You're clear to go on through. Thank you. Mr. President! Where is he? Hey. Is he- did he get out yet? Hell yeah. I don't trust you near that vertebrate, bro. Oh, there he goes! He's going down! Okay, can I- you're looking at the presidential vertebrate. The assassins could have done something to the vertebrate. Examine it. You search the vertebrate and notice a strange item that doesn't belong. Upon examination, you notice it's a bomb. You skillfully disable the bomb and remove it. Jesus. Was that you, you son of a bitch? That engineer. Where the hell did he go? Oh my god, let's get down. That was close. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to thank you for coming out here today for this very special occasion. It is my pleasure to introduce to you the president of the new California Republic, Aaron Kimball. Bring them down a little bit. It is for you that I have come here. And it is because of you that I am able to do so. We enjoy our privileges because you take I'm going up here again. I really feel sussy. What the hell? What the hell? This ranger was killed not too long ago. Hey, you. You clearly killed that guy, you son of a bitch. There's a dead ranger downstairs. Oh, shit. Really? We should go take a look. Yeah, let's go. Okay, lead the way. That's what I thought! Suspicious? Yeah, uh, I found a bomb on the vertebrate. A bomb on the president's vertebrate? Only a limited number of people had access to the vertebrate. We have to get the president out of here now. I'll cancel the speech and have security search the area. Probably a good we idea. Can't relax until we get the president out of here safely. All and right. I will carry the weight. And at a lake, lake, we made true, true on our promises. Driving out the Raider tribes to establish a lasting peace in the eastern Sierra Nevada. We carry the waste, and though we let. Yep. Get him out. Get him out of there. Morning. Shit is sussy. 
I feel like one of these engineers put that bomb on there. And then when I was up there trying to disarm it, someone came over here and killed that guy. Damn, these legionaries, man, they're just... They really are the worst. Alright, come on, Mr. President. Can I talk to you? No? Damn. You're fucking welcome, man. Okay. I'm coming up here to oversee that your vertebrate leaves. Don't you dare try anything, you son of a bitch. I got my eyes on you. Sweet. See you, Mr. President. Cool. Okay, well that went well. Let's get back down here. There he goes. Hell yeah. Nice and easy. A lot easier than I thought, to be honest. Grant! Good job today. You got the president out safe and sound. I couldn't have done it without you. You have my thanks. Hell yeah, Mr. Pirate Man. Okay. Well, that's done then. Good. Okay, this battle's probably coming up really soon, guys. Let's go back to more and let her know that the job's done. Oops. Where am I going? Up here? Okay. She's probably back where she usually is. I really don't like more, man. She's... She's so bloodthirsty. Colonel Moore! What the hell? Why is it telling me to go here now? Alright. God damn it, game. She's probably back in her usual spot. Why is your head all crooked like that? Why does that keep happening? <laughs> Colonel? Where the hell did you go? I believe the game is glitching out, which is very strange. I've never had that happen before. Oh, here we go. Colonel! Is the president safe? The president is indeed safe. He departed safely. Good. His death could have had a major impact on morale. This whole affair was ill-advised from the start, and I, for one, am glad it's over. While you were out, General Oliver arrived and briefed all senior officers regarding a change in our strategy. I'm not at liberty to divulge what was said, but I've been instructed to send you to him immediately. He set up his camp in the office area at the south end of this power plant. Dismissed. Okay. Let's go talk to him. You're committing to fight with the NCR at the Battle of Hoover Dam, which will determine the fate of New Vegas for decades to come. If there's anything you want to do before you enter the battle, do it now. Let's do this! I do have, uh, the post-game... post-ending shit, well, so... Well, you took your sweet-ass time coming here. Now let's get down to brass tacks. We need to get this thing moving if we want to keep the element of surprise. Um, what is this all about? You've done some great work for us up to this point. Now we need your, uh, unique abilities to help us once again. Thanks to the tasks my subordinates have delegated to you, the NCR now has a unique opportunity. What opportunity is that? We now have a chance to take the fight to them. They'll play by our rules. We're planning out a major initiative on the fort. I've made calls to all of our allies to join forces with our troops. Once our forces are in place and garrisoned here, we'll begin our assault. Cool. Oh. Sir, I don't know what happened. A bunch of legionnaires just stormed into the power station. Oh, shit. Into the power station? How the hell is that possible? I don't know, sir. There was some talk of them entering through the clog intake tunnels, but I don't have any confirmation. Oh my god, they're coming. All right, I need to fix my audio. On my way up here, there was some chatter about their commander, the Legate, I think he's called, set up at some kind oh, of base God. on the Eastern Bank. Okay, listen here. Unless we can get some additional support, I'm gonna need you to help me resolve this situation. You need to make your way to this camp. It's on the Eastern Bank. Take out the Legate, and that should hamstring this attack. 
Okay. Um, can you offer any additional support? Like I said earlier, we have some supplemental forces on the way, but this wasn't the situation I was expecting. I can only offer what's on hand. Thank you kindly for your support. I'll make sure that the NCR emergency radio is up and running. Now, go kill them bastards. All right, let's do it. I'm going to call up some troopers to help me here. Good gracious. The Legion is using the intake tunnels to storm their way into the dam. Someone has to stop them. Okay, uh, what can I do to help? Hmm. I think that you should be able to divert the flow of the water into the generator turbines. That would grind them up like a hamburger. The computer to activate it is just ahead, but you may need to go outside to activate the manual override. That system hasn't been used in a while. Okay, um, I can handle them, no problem. Okay. Be careful out there. Alright, let's do this. Got my shish kebab. Got my game crashing. Oh god, Mike, no! <laughs> Get out of there, Mike! Holy shit! Alright, I should not even worry about fucking taking their stuff. Hey, it's the Brotherhood! Yo, let's go! That's what I like to see. Okay, where are we going right now? We gotta get to the intake terminal thingy, wherever that is. Come on, Brotherhood, you got him! Oh, fuck! I think Mike died. Uh, okay. I don't know where the hell I'm supposed to go right now. Um, the Legion is attacking the car. Okay. I'm just gonna make a run for it. Holy shit. You like that? Oh god. Yeah. That's sick. Am I doing the right thing here? Over here. Had enough. Oh my fuck. Okay, I don't have time to do any kind of turbine thing, so I don't even know where that would be. I'm just going. Holy shit. Here they come. My limbs are very crippled right now. Can I... What am I... Where am I going? Leave me alone, you sons of bitches! Alright, I'm going this way. Come on. We got some kind of something here. I'm just going random ways, bro. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, here's some... I see some water going on. Is this what he was talking about? Oh, look, a quest marker. That's useful. Well, let's go back. Oh my god, so much chaos, man. Don't mind me, I'm just an idiot who's lost. Come on. Oh, fuck! <gasps> Get the hell out of here. Had enough? Come on. Okay, alright, just follow that marker. I gotta get up there. Why is the NCR infamy gain? Ah, Wait, what? What the hell just happened? Why is... what? Uh, that's not right. What? <laughs> okay, we're gonna have to reload. I don't understand. Let's try that again, and this time a little less stupid. Into the power station? How the hell is that possible? I don't know, sir. There was some talk of them entering through the clog intake tunnels, but I don't have any confirmation. On my way up here, there was some chatter about their commander, the Legate, I think he's called, set up at some kind of base on the eastern bank. Okay, let I heard it already. Let's go. Okay, this time, hopefully, it'll be better. Good gracious. The Legion is using the intake tunnels to storm their way into the dam. Someone has to stop them. 
Um, okay, well, let me pay a little more attention to what you're saying. I think that you should be able to divert the flow of the water into the generator turbines. Yeah. The computer to activate it is just ahead, but... Okay, I don't know what you mean by outside, but sure. At least now I have a quest marker. Holy shit, Brotherhood, get him! So glad to see you guys working together. That's music to my ears. Here we go, we actually have a fucking quest marker. Fuck you guys. And now the quest marker's gone. Perfect. How the hell am I supposed to know where to go? This shit's a little dumb, bro. We go up here? He said we have to go outside, right? So I don't know where that would be. Fuck off. Get out of here. They're like mosquitoes, man. Alright, he said we have to go outside. Oh, jump! Now, outside where exactly? There would be nice to have a quest marker telling me where to go. Jesus Christ! Exit. Okay, here we go. The loading screen is taking so long. All right, outside, outside. Uh -huh. Fuck you. Had yeah, look at that. Chopping him up. Get shish kebab. Hell yeah. Alright. Oh, here we go. Okay. Wow, we're so down here. I didn't even... Yeah, this game has so much shit in it, dude. It's absolutely wild. Sure wish I had a doctor's bag. Oh, and we're back here. Okay. <coughs> Uh, in here? It's j literally just took me back to where I was. <laughs> Sweet. I guess I should have followed Mike Lawson? Maybe? Come on. But if Mike Lawson's dead, then what do I do? The quest marker's just fucked up. <laughs> it's just totally fucked up. Oh my god, dude. Come on. Okay, alright. You know what? We're gonna try this shit one more time. We're gonna try this one more time, but we're gonna follow Mike Lawson. If possible. I don't even... I think it's too late now. Alright, let's try to find a way to do this. Oh my god. Like that? Sorry, Mike. I can't. I can't do whatever you're asking because I don't know where the hell I'm supposed to go. I sure wish the game would tell me, but it won't. Here's a way. This is just back to the damn. <laughs> the damn damn. Thought hiding would save oh, you. I'm on. not hiding. I'm trying to find the water so I could grind you guys <laughs> like hamburgers. I'm just, I'm just trying to follow these quest markers, man. I don't even know what's up. Is this where we're supposed to be? I guess maybe. I'm so Had fucked enough. up right now. All right, we're reloading. We're doing the. We're just gonna try one more thing. Okay, let's do this again. Third time's the charm, right? Well. Yeah, I took my time. Okay.
Sir. And then the legionaries are coming. A bunch of yeah. legionaries just stormed into the power station. Into the power station? How the hell is that possible? I don't know, sir. There was some talk of them entering through the clog intake tunnels, but I don't have any confirmation. On my way up here, there was some chatter about their commander, the Legate, I think he's called, set up at some kind of base on the eastern bank. Okay, listen. I'm listening here, buddy boy. Let's start by do it. All right, Mike, I'm going to follow you. If you get slaughtered, I don't know what to do. Good gracious. Good gracious. Good me me. We got to make Listen. some hamburgers. Let's take care of it. Uh, I'll t Good luck. Huh. Is following you even a thing I can do? I'm I, I, I'm so lost. Come on, Mike, go. Come on. I'm following you. Come on. Oh shit, alright, we have a quest marker, maybe? Mike! Okay, you're just gonna hide in the corner. I'm out of here! Alright, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Hey! Exit. Exit for the love of god! All right, this has to be the right thing to do, right? I don't, I can't, I don't know what else I could do. Oh ah. my lord. Come on! Fuck off. Had enough? I have actually, yes, I have had enough, matter of fact. Um... What the fuck, dude? <laughs> I seriously don't understand what's happening. Whoa, okay, here's something. Is this something I can actually do? Please? Come on, get the damn terminal open. I mean, the, the door. You like that? Oh god, they're storming in! Alright, this looks promising, a quest marker. This could actually be meaningful. Oh, hey! Arcade! What's- Oh, holy shit, dude, Arcade's kicking ass! It's so good to see you, man! I'm glad that's over with. Me too! Alright, I don't know what the hell Mike Lawson wanted me to do. I don't give a shit. We need to get out of here. That dam is way too big for me to just guess where to go. Okay. Alright, before I do anything, I need to get some, some help here. Uh, where's my radio? Oh, great, okay, so that was a lie. <laughs> Thanks, General Oliver. Let's get going. Let's go! Fuck you! I need to get to the Legates camp. The NCR doesn't hate me right now, right? <laughs> For some reason. Did I kill them before? Is that why? Yeah, okay, we're good. You guys think you can get in my way? With your pseudo power armor, you pieces of shit? Not with the shish kebab. Hell yeah. Explosions are happening. Oh my god. Okay, a terminal. What's on this terminal? Uh, yeah. Generator security diagnostic. There was a problem with the remote diagnostic protocol set up for the generators on the dam. It turns out that activating the remote diagnostics has a good chance to cause the generators to overload. Is that a good idea? I don't have time for this shit. I don't have time. I don't know where I'm supposed to find that. 
Whatever. Let's press on. Oh, Lord. Alpha Squad reporting in. Thanks for the support back there. We've been assigned to ensure you make it to the Legate. How can we be of assistance? Just, you have superior firepower. You can overwhelm them if you push the advance on them. You're in charge of this operation. That sounds like a suicide mission, but our orders are to take commands from you. Unit, let's move out. Let's Actually, well, I'll, I'll be in front. Don't worry. Just stay away from this fire. Jesus. I won't let you guys die. They killed us. Oh my god. The game is fucked up. There's a vertebrate. Whoa, it's the Enclave, Henry! You can it's you guys! Yeah! The whole team's here. Look at this. Get him! Get him, Cannibal Johnson! Hell yeah, dude. We love to see it. Hell yeah. Alright, you guys deal with them. I'm pressing ahead. I gotta get to the damn Legget. Alright, this might be my death, but I'm gonna enjoy one last Siggy beforehand. Wait, let me finish my cigarette, goddammit! I'm gonna use your freaking on fire corpse to light my cigarette. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, they got dogs. Come on. Sorry, dog. Sorry, guy that fell down. Actually, I'm not really sorry. There you are. Oh no, you guys are waiting for me. Hey, cannibal! I hope the other Enclave guys didn't die. All right, let's go. Hell yeah, dude, I got some firepower with me here. Oh my god. Come on. No, you're not running from me, bitch. You are not running from me. And I missed. Fucking great. Oh look, let me yeah, let me just drop my my weapon too. That's always good. All right. We're going fisticuffs here, huh? What a coward, bro. You want to fall back and then start shooting at us? Hell yeah. This ain't no time for guns, bro. It's time to go fists. Are you motherfuckers who's ready to get some? Oh god. Whoa, you guys look kind of cool. Alright, we're equally armed right now. Lord almighty! I need to take drugs! Drug time! What drugs can I take here? Uh, shit. Medics? Um, Hydra? Sure. Good enough. Make sure these guys don't punch me. Hell yeah. Oh, okay, the game almost crashed. Alright, Cannon, we'll deal with the rest of them. Hey, we got some rangers! Come on, guys! Another pill to my name. Come on. Um. Had enough? Oh fuck! Oh my god! Okay, this guy means business. Just gonna take your dog tags real quick. Jesus! Legit Lanius, you son of a bitch! And who are you to come before me? You bear the insignia of the bear. 
Yet you do not wear it as a soldier of the West wears it. Listen, if you think you have any chance of taking this dam, you're wrong. Many graves in the East are filled with those who said as much, with braver words, not backed by strength. It is Kaiser's will this gate to the West bear the flag of the Legion. Kaiser's will shall be done. Uh, what, Caesar's giving you orders beyond the grave now? Kaiser's will is the will of the Legion and the West. All beneath the flag of the Great Bear exist to test the strength of the Legion. The West shall fall as the East fell, and all the tribes that stretch to the setting sun shall bear the mark of the Legion. Bitch, you got a broom on your head. I ain't afraid of you. I'm here to kill you. No, you know what? Fuck you. Nice mask. Can't wait to take it as a trophy. We shall see how brave you are when nailed to the walls of Hoover Dam. Your body facing west so you may watch your world die. We'll see about that. Die. Sword versus sword, bitch! Oh, you got friends. You got some friends. Okay. Oh, God. I should have called off your friends first, but... Oh! Shit. Okay, I might die. Oh my god. You guys just gonna chill there for a minute? Fuck you. Stop hitting me with a sword! Oh my god. There's too many of them! There's too fucking many! I need a stim pack. I need something. Oh my god. I don't even know. Fall back, fall back. Where did Cannibal Johnson go? Oh my god, dude. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Come on, Leggett. Fuck. Okay, uh, shit. Take everything, just take it all. Hurry up with the animations, <laughs> goddammit! Oh my god! I'm- I'm fucked, dude. I'm totally fucked here. Holy shit! Alright, that went well. Let's see if we could call off his guards first. And also, can I take out any people here? Yeah, look here- let's take out these dogs, make it a little easier on ourselves. Get him, cannibal! I give you full permission to eat any of these people. Hey, your gun don't do shit. Hey, you think you're getting out of here, you fucking dog? I don't think so. Good job, cannibal. Damn, I hope Arcade didn't die. That would be sad. Anybody else want to come out and play? What's in here? A gate, okay. Alright, let's see if we can get him to call out the guards and fight fair. I want to have a nice sword duel with this asshole. You son of a bitch. And who are you to come? Who am I? Uh, uh, we already had this conversation. Uh, maybe you're willing to listen to reason. Um... Persist and learn what Graham learned at the dam and Boulder City. You dare speak that name. Comparing him to any man of Kaiser will only earn you a slow death. Oh, I count you on it You think me some lesser man, some other legate? I am the first of the Legion, and this gate to the West shall be ours this day. Yeah. Okay, well. Uh, NCR has studied you as they did Graham, and the trap is ready for you. Huh. You believe your own words, even if I do not. 
Perhaps NCR has the strength of a cornered animal. It will not be enough to hold this place. They know nothing of my tactics, or the strength of my forces. They will learn. Okay, um... Well, I don't think I can get him to, to stop. Let's just do this. I'm not talking you down, that's lame. Come on, I'm gonna hit you with all I got, you piece of shit. Alright, time to fall back. Time to get some healing going on here. Cool. Cannibal, I could really use your help, man. Oh, no! Jesus Christ, they killed him! Alright, I need- I really need to take these- these guys out. Reprisal! Oh, fuck. Oh my god. Holy shit! Oh yeah, you're gonna fall back and heal, you piece of shit! I don't think so! Yeah! We did it! We killed him! This son of a bitch is dead! Ripping, ripping peace cannibal though, man. Oh, what a shame. Jesus. Well. Oh, hey! Uh, you know what? I think, um... I feel like that was a bit anticlimactic, you know? I, I think, uh, I don't think it's over yet. I think... I think that Legget is just having a little rest for a second. I don't think he's fully dead yet. Fuck you. You made your choice, you son of a bitch. You ain't walking out of this. Get punched! Get punched! Hell yeah, okay. Alright, I think the Legget's about to wake up again. We better... We better see. Will this break the game if I do this? Let's find out. I just want to fight him again. <laughs> Another kill, to my Another kill huh? Look now it's just 1v1. It's 1v1 now, you son of a bitch! <laughs> Come on! Come on! <gasps> Alright, he's stuck behind the... <laughs> Can I get rid of this? Sable... Console command usage! Oh, fuck! Blood sausage, help me! Is that an enclave, or is that... Oh, that's a legionary. Okay. Oh my fuck. Now I'm stuck. I gotta use console commands again! Hold on, hold on! I don't know what the hell just happened. Oh my god, the game is broken, dude. <laughs> I broke this game. What the hell is happening? Oh my god, dude. Alright, we're gonna have to relaunch the game. I don't... Oh! Oh! Nope, it's... Oh, wait! It might work! It might work! This is the most chaotic fucking thing ever, dude. I can't even... I can't even deal with this. <laughs> I think the game broke. Oh no, please tell me it didn't crash my computer. No? We good? No. Okay, let me restart the game. I could have just made it easy. I could have just killed him and that would have been it, but nope. Silly me. Launch the game again. God damn it, dude. Alright, one more time, we're doing this shit. This is happening now. Hopefully. <laughs> Why does he have to have all these guards, man? I just want to fight him one-on-one. -on -one. Like, what a coward. Need all your backup. I thought they are Oh, shit! 
You son of a bitch. Who's the better swordsman, huh? I think you, actually. Hold on. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, okay, he bodied me! He bodied me! No, this isn't fair! Come on, get up! Oh my fucking god. Alright, don't let him... Don't let him do that. Jesus Christ! We gotta kill this guy. This... This... This has to happen. Do I have any kind of grenade I can throw at you or something? No. Oh, shit. Like oh, that. my... F Dude, that's total bullshit. Yeah. My god, get these guys out of the way first. Hopefully the game doesn't crash again. That guy's running. Yeah. That's right. Can you get out of that cart? See, I'm willing to work with you here, man. I'm letting you have a fair battle here, okay? I will even disable this cart again. Oh, now you're gonna get stuck on the table. Oh, you're coming back? Fuck you. Would you guys quit it for a second so I can kill your boss? Oh! Jesus Christ, man! Uh, uh, shit. Just gonna dodge and weave out of the way. Come on, just keep hitting him. Just keep hitting him! No! He's gonna kill me. Oh my god. And now my armor is fucked. Just take all the stim facts. How much more health do you have, my guy? Clearly a lot, okay. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. What a fucking joke, man. Did we get him? Oh, I think we got him! Yeah! Hell yeah, okay. I'm taking all your shit, bitch. Oh my god, you assholes! Just keep respawning? Alright, let's loot him. I'm taking that helmet, like it's armor, yeah! Cool. Okay, let's get the hell out of here. Got a few more legionaries. Come on. Jesus Christ. Nice. Who else? One more? You're getting tesla -ed. Just call me Elon Musk. Help! Now you're gonna fucking run. Oh my god, you guys pissed me off so much. Of course my gun doesn't hit you. Of course. I'm Fuck you, here. stop running. Cool. Keep fighting. No, stop fighting. It's over. Your boss is fucking dead. Look at this. It's all over, guys. Hate to tell you. Okay, let's get the hell out of here. Oh my god. Oh shit! What now? Oh, thank god it's you guys.
That was a fine bit of work back there. Surprised you made it out of there in one piece. You and the damn. You've secured NCR's future. The administration sends its thanks for what it's worth. Um, I couldn't have done it alone, honestly. I appreciate the assist along the way. It's the least we could do. And seeing those shits of Caesar kicking dirt as they ran, that did my heart good, let me tell you. You might see some recruitment numbers rise and build some morale out in the Mojave long enough for the NCR to find its feet again. Again. You have my thanks. And all the West, too, once they pass it over the radio. After signing a goddamn release forms. So what happens now? We'll clean up. Take the prisoners. Scout the East for more Legion. After that, we'll see what happens when the dust settles. Things will change now that Caesar's gone. Something tells me we better enjoy this breather while we can. <laughs> and if that means Vegas, then you and the troops have earned it. Oh, you better believe I'm gonna go gamble. <laughs> Maybe traveling is in order. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'll do some traveling, too. <laughs> Fair enough. We'll clean up from here. Kind of curious how this is going to pan out the long run. But I guess history will tell us in its own sweet time. And so the courier who had cheated death in the cemetery outside Good Springs cheated death once again. And the Mojave Wasteland was forever changed. The new California Republic celebrated its second victory at Hoover Dam, establishing definitive control over the entire Mojave Wasteland. Soon after, they negotiated terms to annex the Strip, Freeside, and many surrounding communities. The Mojave Wasteland, at long last, had entirely fallen under the NCR's banner. The Courier, fair and even-handed in his dealings throughout the Wasteland, was honored by the NCR for his support of the military at Hoover Dam. He was presented with the Golden Branch, the highest civilian decoration given by the Republic. Tabitha and Rhonda went east through Caesar's land. Occasionally, tales of their exploits found their way back west, though few believed them. Eventually, the stories concerning the duo were collected and published, and proved to be quite popular with children. Still grappling with self-doubt over his usefulness in the face of old age, Raoul was never able to find peace with himself. Eventually, he left the Mojave and assumed a new name, as he had done so many times before. We got to do his quest. With the help of the Gunrunners, the Boomers developed a healthy trading relationship with the NCR. Eventually, the Boomers began wandering out into the wasteland while still preventing outsiders from entering Nellis. The Brotherhood in the NCR and the Mojave Wasteland declared an official truce. As per their agreement, the NCR returned all suits of salvaged power armor. And in return, the Brotherhood helped patrol I-15 and Highway 95. Despite her departure from the group, the Brotherhood's peace treaty with NCR came as some relief to Veronica. Though she remained friendly with surface patrols, she was never again permitted to enter the bunker she once called home. Aww. Fearing for the safety of anyone she associated with, she continued her solitary life as a scavenger. But reports would emerge from Mojave scientists and social workers of old equipment miraculously repaired and research notes mysteriously completed. Their leaders destroyed by the courier, the fiends scattered throughout the wasteland. Without the organization of Motor Runner, Cook Cook, Violet, and Driver Nephi, they were easy prey. After the NCR's victory at the dam, the followers of the apocalypse were pushed out of Old Mormon Fort during its occupation by NCR forces. NCR further encouraged them to leave Outer Vegas entirely, and the followers had no choice but to comply. Though Arcade had not hoped for an NCR victory, he was proud of his role in the defense of Hoover Dam against the forces of Caesar's Legion. Unfortunately, when word spread that Arcade was once a member of the Enclave, he was forced out of the followers of the Apocalypse. Pursued by bounty hunters, NCR Rangers, and the Brotherhood of Steel, Arcade pushed deep into the Eastern Plains and was never heard from again. Good Springs saw more trade along I-15 after NCR gained control of the Mojave Wasteland, but with that came a heavy burden of the Republic's taxes. Some old-timers, unable to handle the cost, were forced to move on, grumbling all the while. 
The slaughter of the Van Graffs in the Crimson Caravan caused no end of trouble for NCR back west. Already struggling, NCR's supply lines suffered further as the two caravans withdrew support until the massacre in the east was resolved. Cass survived to see the NCR flag flying proud over Hoover Dam and thought for a moment, this is what a hero must feel like. She was about to tell the courier not to get too proud of himself. Then she figured, he knew that already. That night, Cass kicked in the door of his room to celebrate, only to find the man on the bed was an NCR soldier whose barracks had been destroyed. He was cute though, so after having her way with him, she got the hell out, leaving an empty whiskey bottle as a note. As she walked along the dam in the night, she felt drunk, content, and happy to be alive. Which to her, was the whole point of it all. During the Battle of Hoover Dam, the Great Khans quickly evacuated Red Rock Canyon and headed north and east into the plains of Wyoming. There, they reconnected with the followers of the Apocalypse and rebuilt their strength. Bolstered by ancient knowledge of governance, economics, and transportation, they carved a mighty empire out of the ruins of the Northwest. Thanks to the Courier and Lily, a cure for the Nightkin schizophrenia was found shortly after Dr. Henry's experiment concluded. Nightkin and other super mutants in the wasteland flocked to Jacobstown, and the town became known as a haven where a mutant could find peace. Lily continued to take her medicine at half doses, and although she remembered her grandchildren, her mind remained muddled and confused. Eventually, she parted ways with the Courier and traveled west, seeking the remnants of her past. After the NCR victory at Hoover Dam, the temporary truce between them and the Kings blossomed into a full-scale relief effort for the people. While the NCR made repeated entreaties that Freeside join the Republic, the Kings steadfastly maintained their independence. After Ray's brain was transplanted into Rex's cybernetic body, it took Rex some time to adjust to the old scrapyard dog's memories. Eventually, Rex's mind settled peacefully, melding his own memories with that of long travels with old Lady Gibson. Shaped up by the Courier's advice, the misfits distinguished themselves during the Legion's attack on Camp Golf. Mags was finally promoted to sergeant, and the rest of the misfits received an official commendation. They continued to serve with distinction for many years. Though Novak was a low-priority target for the Legion, many of Novak's citizens died in its defense. In the weeks that followed, several bright followers returned to Novak to help restore its defenses, allowing it to remain independent of NCR. Tired of waiting for the world to be done with him, Boone ventured into the wastes to make his own way out. Unable to clear his mind of the past, That's not he was at happened. last granted the death he'd awaited bringing final rest to a life that had ended long ago. After Hoover Dam, that is the leaderless powder gangers at the correctional facility vanished into the wastes, leaving the prison empty. The correctional facility became another abandoned ruin in the wasteland, its carcass occasionally picked over by enterprising prospectors. After the majority of the Vault 19 powder gangers joined the Great Khans, the weaker members scattered throughout the Mojave wasteland. Though a few managed to erase their pasts, most never survived the journey. After Hoover Dam, Sheriff Myers runs Prim with his own style of frontier justice. He deals with most folks fairly, but now and then someone winds up dead with little to no evidence against them. Defying Chief Hanlon's worst fears, NCR's rangers persevered and distinguished themselves during the Second Battle of Hoover Dam. The rangers, along with NCR's many troopers, shared the glory of victory. Hanlon wisely stayed out of the spotlight, crediting General Oliver's leadership for NCR's success. After a brief fanfare, Hanlon stepped down as chief and returned to the peace and quiet of his ranch outside of Redding. After their bold arrival at Hoover Dam, 
the remnants disappeared as quickly as they came. Legends of their power spread throughout the southwest, a reminder of why people once feared the sight of vertebrates in the sky. And so the Courier's Road came to an end, for now. In the new world of the Mojave Wasteland, fighting continued, blood was spilled, and many lived and died just as they had in the old world. Because war, war never changes. Okay, I have a few caveats for that ending, which I'll talk about in a second. Not not too bad of an ending. First thing though, Boone dying with a drink in his hand, that's not what happened. Um, Boone died knowing that he got fucking vengeance for his wife and we killed pretty much every last fucking legionary there. It was just one snuck up on him and killed him right at the end, but I killed that last one. And that's, uh, for like story reasons, I thought that would be kind of poetic. Uh, so no, Boone kind of got a happy ending in a way. I guess a bittersweet ending. Like, he still died, but he died, you know, getting revenge for his wife and... Fought. I think he had peace in his last moments, honestly. For one. For two, uh, the shit with Arcade, um... Arcade didn't... I don't see why Arcade would roam into the east or whatever, never to be seen again, because he's... I, I get... that's fine, sure, that's fine. Cass fucking some other guy. What the hell, Cass? I thought we had something. <laughs> That's fine, I guess we could be in a poly relationship. And, uh, what else? As for the courier here, um... Oh, hey, Small more. Move for the kings to back down. They didn't know who they were Patrol messing with. Mojave, Trying some ventriloquism, huh? So yeah, as for the courier, um, I'd like to believe that I, Charles Sixheart, that's my full name. Um, I'd like to believe that I became the, uh, the leader of the Lucky 38, and therefore the whole strip, honestly. So I'm kind of like the new leader of the strip, but I try to, you know, I try to keep things a little less shitty than Hoover Dam had it. Oh, Brigadier General! Damn, you got a, uh, you got an upgrade, huh? That's cool. But yeah, overall, I think a pretty happy ending. Oh, look, Ganon Family Tesla Armor. Cool. Alright, well, I think it's time to go drop this stuff off at the sink and, uh, officially end this playthrough, guys. How long has it been since the battle? Oh, damn, okay, it's, uh... Hey. It's now September. Cool, alright, we're gonna slowly freaking walk out of this place. Well, guys, that's, uh, that was quite the adventure, man. Do we have any quests left on our log? Just these, for some reason. I don't know why, their game's a bit glitched. That's okay. How the hell do I get out of this place? Slowly fucking walk my way out. <laughs> Alright, can I like... Can I cock out of here? Can I like cock to big MT? You know what, fuck this. I know what I'm gonna do. Cock... Good springs. Man, guys, that was a crazy... Crazy adventures we just went on there. Oh, here's Good Springs under NCR control. Cool. Okay. I may or may not do like a post end game tour of the Mojave. Probably not, honestly. I might just wrap it up here to be honest with you, but if that's something anyone ever wants, maybe let me know, you know? I think for the time being, the courier is just gonna, you know, try to do some projects at the sink. Try to work on some technology that'll benefit the wasteland, you know, feeding everybody. Uh, and also, you know, residing over the Lucky 38 and making sure everybody's happy camper is there. I tell you about Saxomatron version 4.0? Did I ever tell you the story of the Saxomatron? Okay, let me drop off. Blade of the East, dude, look at that shit. That's sick. I'm keeping that in my inventory. I have a okay, let's go ahead and drop off some of this power armor. Oops. That's the Brotherhood. Here's the T-45. So let's put the Enclave armor in this one. Is the Ganon family better than the... Nah, uh, whatever. 
Legged like armor, legged like helmet. Damn. Okay, I guess we could put that stuff in here. Cool. Alright. Well, guys. I guess that's it, then. It's the end of the series. Why don't we just, real quick, why don't we just go back and... Meet up with uh, whoever's left as far as our companions at the Lucky 38. Get one last li li little look at the strip before we end this stuff off. Whoa! Joshua Graham lives! I didn't see that before. Alright guys, that's... We've literally done everything we can in this wasteland. Well, almost everything. I really hope I made the best possible decisions. I think I did, like narratively. Obviously the slides are going to be a little different from my headcanon. Um, but you know, I think it's pretty good. All right, back to this trip. I got some NCR flags, cool, cool. Hey, Securitrons, this place is cleaned up a little bit. I'm trying to work on it a little, you know? It's been like a, a few weeks since the battle. Let's go say hi to my companions again and wrap this up. Anybody home? Hey guys, Veronica, Cass, Rex. Is that it? Everybody else left? That's cool. So I guess the Brotherhood has Eddie now. That's fine. He's probably in good hands with them. All right, well... You guys have anything to say, or...? What's up? What's your opinion on the current situation? Not sure what my parents would think of me fighting for the NCR. But for New Vegas, it seemed like this was the best chance at stability. I don't regret it. True. See you around. See you, Veronica. Hey, Rex, how you doing, boy? Cass, my love. Well, now, look what rolled in. What, you getting lonely out there? You know what, I was getting lonely. I think Cass and I are gonna have a little snuggle sesh together and... That's it, guys. I really appreciate uh, anybody who stuck it out for all 50 episodes. And, um, yeah, again, let me know if you want me to just do some gambling with me and my friends here. Just, you know, hang out a little on the strip. I don't know, maybe I will, we'll see. But yeah, guys, that's, uh... That's it. I also missed the dead money snow glow, but I don't give a fuck. Um, alright. Well, thank you guys for watching the series. Uh, stay tuned for more in the future. Um, I will be... I will be having some epic videos coming out. I got some tier lists coming. I got some good stuff. Um, but yeah. Um, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. And remember, war never changes. <laughs> All right, bye, guys.